Hi, this is Eric for Otoy. In this video, we're going to talk about lighting a scene using emissive surfaces or using geometry to cast light into the scene. So, I'm using the Space Cantina Interior 01.MA scene, and just like I did in the previous um, chapter on octane lights, uh, I've turned off all the emissive surfaces in the scene, uh, with the exception of a few small ones. So, if I switch to the octane render, what we'll see is a fairly dim scene. We've got some lighting coming from the outside and a few glowing parts like on this robot here. Let's switch back to viewport 2.0 and switch to the perspective view. And I'm going to create a polygon torus. So I want to create polygon surfaces in order to do this. So I'll choose create polygon primitives torus. And I'm going to move this up and over. Go into the channel box. Let's set the uh, section radius to like 0.1, so it's kind of a thin light. And I'm going to call this tube light. Let's go over to the hypershade now. And I'm going to go to the octane materials section of hypershade. And I want to create an octane diffuse material. So I'll create a diffuse material. Let's zoom in on this, and I'm going to call this Tube Light Emissive. And select the Tube Light, right click over this and choose Assign Material to Viewport Selection, so it's assigned now. Let's scooch over so we can see what's going on. And then I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. a little bit more room here. And in the attributes for tube light emissive, I'm going to find the emission field. Click on this checker box. It'll open up the create render node window to the octane emission folder. And I have two choices, black body emission or texture emission. So the difference is, is a black body emission is controlled using the temperature slider in terms of the color of the light. Octane texture emission is controlled using a texture like a RGB texture. Let's uh, try the octane black body emission first. So I'll click on that and you can see it's now it's hooked up from emission output to the emission input of the tube light emissive diffuse shader. I'm going to select the shader here. You don't have to do this, but just in order to make it more obvious what's going on, I'm going to set the diffuse to black so that any color that we see in on the surface is created by the uh, black body emission node. If I select the black body emission node, you'll notice that a lot of these options are very familiar. They're extremely similar to what we saw in octane lights. So let's switch to the bar cam. Let's pull this down a little bit. There we go. So we can see it. And let's switch to Octane Render. Okay, so so far we're not seeing much. It's kind of unimpressive. Uh, what we need to do is kind of force a refresh of the Octane Render. So to do that, I'll go to Windows, Rendering Editors, Render Settings. And let's set this frames to pre-cache to 2. It's just going to kind of reload the geometry in the scene. There we go. I'll set this back to zero. So whenever something's not uh, updating correctly, you can try that trick to sort of force a refresh. But now we can see our torus. It's nice and white. That's the light coming from it. And it's casting light into the scene. So I'm going to select the black body emission, open up the attribute editor, and let's uh, test out some of these settings. Like I said, many of them are, should already be familiar if you watched the previous video on octane lights. So we have temperature. If I move this up, we're going to get a cool light cast into the scene. If I move it down, we're going to get a warm light cast into the scene. We have power. I'm going to set this to 500 so it's really bright. So you can see how it's casting in here. And you can see it's how it's reflected on the surfaces. But of course, we can also turn on or off visible and diffuse or visible and specular or even turn off cast shadows. If you have a single-sided surface and you want it to cast from both sides, you can turn on double-sided. It's not going to do much here because this is a closed surface. 
We also have surface brightness if you want to control the brightness based on the scale of the surface. So if I scale this down, you can see it's not casting nearly as much light. If I scale it up, it's much brighter. Now as for the transparent emission uh, option, the way this works is if I go to the hypershade here, I'm going to select that tube light emissive uh, shader. This is the diffuse shader I applied to the torus and I'm going to bring the opacity down to zero and you can see when I do that that I don't get any light in the scene. So then I'll go to the emission node, the black body emission node. If I turn on transparent emission it's going to emit light even though the surface itself is transparent. So you can see the reflection of the light being emitted by that torus in the scene even though the torus is transparent and not visible. So if I turn this, let's say I go to that tube light emissive diffuse material, I'll set the opacity to say something like 0.5 so you can see it in there and then I'll select my black body emission node and you can see the difference between when I turn on or off transparent emission. So transparent emission is on, even though the opacity is set to 0.5, it's just as bright as if the opacity is set to 1. But if I turn off transparent emission, the opacity is set to 0.5, so the light's going to be a little bit dimmer. So it's just another way to really to control the way the light appears as well as how bright it is. So if I bring this down even more, you can see the light's going to get dimmer, and the surface is going to get more and more transparent. And if I turn on transparent emission, then the opacity of the surface does not affect the brightness of the light. Now our main controls for the color and, and intensity of the light, of course, are temperature and power. But let's say we wanted to create kind of an uneven emission on the surface. Uh, for that, we can use distribution. Now distribution has a slider. If we pull it down, it makes the light dimmer. That's not that exciting because it's kind of like power. So if I click on the checker box next to distribution, it pulls up create render node. Um, I'll add a noise texture. And I'm going to, let's say, reduce the number of octaves and pull down, let's pull up the omega and bring up the contrast. So you can see that noise texture on the surface and you can also see how it's affecting the light in the scene. So that's distribution. I'm going to break that connection. We can do something similar to texture or efficiency. So we have the efficiency slider here, which again controls the strength of the light over distance. But we could also add a texture to that. Let's put that back to 025. So again, I'll create a noise texture. So it's going to be a little bit different, but kind of a similar idea to distribution. So let's bring up the contrast and move down the omega. There we go. So you can see it's how it's kind of affecting the light in the scene, depending on how you uh, mess with the settings here. Let's bring this down to 1.8, make it a little bit brighter. So you could also use like an image texture. Um, again, works great for things like TV screens or some kind of animated texture or something like that. So going back to the shader here, I'm going to right click next to emission and choose break connection. And I'm going to click on this checker box to open up Create Render Node. And this time I'm going to create Octane Texture Emission. Really similar to Black Body, except now we have a slider for texture, which goes between 0 to 1 or black to white. And we can click on this checker box and choose, say, RGB Spectrum Texture.
and use this to control the color of the light. So we want like kind of a bright green light. And let's see if that's actually working. There we go. Just kind of need to force it to update. So right now we have this kind of weird green light in our bar, which is not terribly appetizing. But you get the idea. Most of the other settings are very similar. It's kind of which you prefer to work with, either a texture color or a temperature. These other settings are, for the most part, the same as they are on the black body emission. So now that you have a basic idea how emissive surfaces work, uh, let's turn on the lights that I originally set up in the scene and we can get rid of this torus here. So to do this, uh, this black strip right here is one of the lights, but I'm just going to go in the outliner here so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Within the bar geo group, there's a subgroup called emissive surfaces. Within that group, there's another group called light panes. So I'm going to select this overhead light pane, this right here. So a lot of these surfaces all have the same shader applied to them. So I'm going to select one and go into the attribute editor and find the tab for light emissive. So this is a diffuse shader, very similar to the one that's applied to this torus here. And I'm going to go down to the emission section. So if I scroll down, find emission, click on this, and then click on the efficiency or texture, which is currently set to black. So I'm going to raise this. You can see that the light starts to come back in the scene. I kind of like that warm color, so I'm going to click on this and choose kind of like a warmish orange. And maybe bring down the power a little bit. Let's set the power to like 40. And then I'm going to select this torus here and just delete it from the scene. So we can see this is kind of how the original lighting looks. And if I switch over to the perspective camera, you can see that kind of placed throughout the scene strategically to kind of look like practical lighting. So emissive surfaces are another way to uh, add some interesting lighting effects to your scene. So I encourage you to take a look at the Space Cantina Interior 1 scene and look at the lights in the scene and check out their shaders and see how I set them up and see if you can create your own variations on them to kind of get used to the way that this type of lighting works.